Now, we've probably all done it at least once. In order to get an extra discount or access a site, you create an online account, use it once, and then forget all about it. They're called zombie accounts, and Jimmy Rhodes says there are privacy risks you need to address. How to find them and shut them down is our featured story at the top of the list. If you've been online, chances are you have zombie accounts. A lot of us really have a ton of accounts that have piled up over the years that we're just not using anymore or we may have even forgotten about entirely. And Consumer Reports tech editor Thomas Germain says, like zombies, those accounts can be dangerous long after they've been left for dead. Each one of these accounts has some level of personal information associated with it. So take a trip down memory lane. There was like a zombie version of Oregon Trail. I think it was called Oregon Trail. And kill those zombie accounts once and for all. Start by jogging your memory. There are some sites like justdelete.me is one which keeps a list of different websites and services that you might have made accounts with. Justdelete.me lists hundreds of sites and ranks the account deletion process from easy to impossible. The next step, search your emails. Look for the terms that companies use in the emails they send you when you sign up for a new account. For example, try searching for terms like welcome to your new account Password is one, username is another. Once you've searched your inbox, get online and search your username. If there's a username that you reuse across different services, go to Google and type it in. I might find accounts associated with my old standby, sexy cat lover. Don't judge me. Remember to search using Bing and Yahoo too. All of them use different techniques to scour the internet. Next, check your password managers. You can actually go back and find your usernames and passwords, your browser, your operating system, or your phone. For Windows, search for Credential Manager, and if you're on a Mac, you're looking for keychain and similarly go to Google sign in and Facebook sign in and see a list of all of the apps and services that you've signed up for using it type passwords.google.com into your address bar to see the sites for which Google has saved your passwords bonus reunions with old fantasy football sites some of the sites you find might be so old you'll have to revive them just to kill them one of the steps I needed to take was to rejuvenate these accounts by resetting my password using my email create new login info so you can officially close the account. Finally, you'll find that some sites may be gone. The good news is if the site is offline, the information is probably less accessible. But get on the stick and deactivate those unused accounts before they go out of business. Killing your zombie accounts is at the top of the list.